Hello, this is Anson from Highway. In today's video, we are going to introduce a cutting edge product for live production or remote production or multi camera production. Here it is. This is the HD video encoder. And in this encoder, we can use two channels I, uh, HDMI input, this is up to 4K, and one channel uh, loop through and line audio and line out, gigabit and rent. And look at the rear front. This is the RS port. So we can choose, we can use something remotely. And this is the USB port. We can uh, uh, save something to the uh, disk, disk or uh, upgrade the encoder here. And this is the uh, indicators. This is the LAN port. And this is the HDMI 1, HDMI 2. Okay, so let's look at look to the um, page of this encoder. Here it is, and this encoder we can use the different operation mode. For example, encoding, decoding, or encoding and decoding, and transcoding, video mixing. So in today's video, we are going to introduce the video mixing function for you. Here it is. Let's go. The, for the first step, we need to configure the IP phase for our remote production. I have already added two channels IP phase here. And let's, like, next step, we can use we can use this video, video mixer, and we can choose different protocol or different parameter to for our uh, use. For example, if you want to stream to YouTube, you can enable RTMPS. And if you want to stream anywhere, we can use uh, SRT or anything, any protocol we want. And uh, this, this, in this uh, page, we can preview the output feeds. Here it is the live preview. And those two are the IP feeds I have already configured. So we can choose which where to place or what to place as we want. Then the resolution or location can be customized as we want. Here we can choose a different position to place those two in. So um, let me do something. Besides that, this preview, we can use the uh, VLC or any media player for the preview. Here it is, and we can see the location have already changed. Besides the location, we can also um, configure the different resolution as we want. Here it is, we are using a long standard resolution and we can choose the different resolution to use like the standard resolution or non-standard resolution. We can see the picture is being changed, the resolution of this picture is already being changed. So we can do it this way and any any phase can be customized as we want. And once we have configured everything as we wanted, we can um, start our streaming as, as we a general encoder, stream to YouTube or send it to another, another platform or, or another point as we want. And uh, this is today's video. If you have any question,